Hi there, welcome to Have It All. I am your host and the creator, Anna K. Morris, and I'm thrilled that you're here because if you are here, it means that you're interested in having it all, or maybe you're curious about what I and my guests have to say about having it all. Can we? Do we know what it is that we want? And once we get it, are we wise enough to know that we have it? And are we worthy enough to hold on to it? That's what we'll be exploring on the podcast. I'm so happy you're here and let's get started. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the podcast. I am so happy to share a little bit more about my interview with my coaching client and friend, Liz Wood. If you haven't had a chance to listen yet, I highly recommend. She shares for the first time, actually, um, about an adoption that she pursued and then um, reversed. So she had adopted um, an adolescent boy and then um, and then reversed the adoption. And then it eventually led to a divorce, which was when we met. And um, I've been coaching her ever since through divorce, massive work changes, um, house changes, remodeling, Paris, all kinds of things. And the thing that I want you to take away from that interview or from this podcast, if you if you only listen to this one, um, is that when you are coming back to yourself, however you are doing that, Liz and I, you'll hear in the interview, we both recommend working with a coach. Obviously I'm Liz's coach and I work with a coach as well and always have and always plan to. Um, It is incredibly valuable to have somebody who can cut through the clutter and the constant tapes that we run and help you to see yourself and to remember that you are worth it because it almost always, I mean, I've been at this almost 17 years, it'll be 17 years in March. I'm gonna say like 99 point, maybe 9% of the time. It's a self-worth thing, right? Liz explains in the interview that like she was confident, but she didn't have self-worth. And you can you can fake confidence. I Trust me, I did. Nobody would have ever thought that I lacked confidence. And I think the same goes for Liz. But self-worth is something very, very different and they can get confused. Self-worth is quite frankly, pretty quiet and super clear. It is unwavering, right? And working with a coach helps to bring you back to that self-worth every single time. The next part that I wanna point out from the interview is what Liz shares is that it is not easy. Like she had to make some very, very hard decisions. I probably don't even know the half of them, right? Um, and and we won't ever, like nobody will ever actually walk in your shoes. But on the other side of the hard choices that she made, it was so worth it. She is at a point right now of like feeling out of body in her life because it's so good and she can't believe it. And trust me, I can relate. Like I feel that way in my life at times too, not in all places of my life. So that's what's really fun is when in in areas where I don't feel that way, that's where I go and take a look and shine a light and work with my coach to see what, what's that right there, right? And then I usually will go back to, you know, childhood and and that's how, how I work um, with myself and with, with clients. But, you know, if, if somebody just gave you, I know that, that you might not agree with me, but, but bear with me here. I'm losing my voice, so I'm drinking tea while I do this. Um, if somebody just gave you a million dollars, that would be really boring, quite frankly, right? Um, sure, yeah, you'd enjoy it. I think, what is the statistic <coughs> that um, people that win the lottery they are what bankrupt like 95 percent of them are bankrupt in five years right and i've always thought of that statistic when i when i think of what i'm about to tell you um 
you think you want the money. But had you earned that money, had you, and not only earned it, had you earned it in doing something that you love that sets your soul on fire. I don't even just mean like a job that's like a check the box, like, yeah, I'm a lawyer and like I can make a million dollars, like, I, but I don't really love it. Like, that's not what I'm talking about. Because that's my own, well, I'll say more about that later. I'm talking about if you had the opportunity, and we all do, to make a million dollars, right? Money's gonna be the same. It's either drops out of the sky and it's in your bank account or it's like what I'm gonna describe. Bear with me. Um, that you earned it like my guest Stephanie Boone in episode eight, like Stephanie did through this fierce love that she had for her dog Luna and this unwavering um, commitment that other families know the truth about what we are doing to our animals and have safe, reliable options, right? If you had just this green paper that's a million dollars or that, that experience of yourself, you will always pick that because here's the thing, it's never the money. It's never the money. In fact, I remember a story, um, there was a coach that I've worked with and she had a client who it was always about, he wanted to make more money, more money, more money. And he sold a company and he made $200 million. And I remember the story distinctly. He called her from like the party, right? Where they were celebrating him making $200 million. And he was like, it's still not enough. It's still not enough. Like that's the, um, there's a, there's a Buddhist saying of like, the um, ghost with an insatiable appetite. That's not quite right. I'll find it and put it in the show notes. But it's like it's like the all the the never satisfied, always hungry ghost, right? It's a horrible feeling to have it never, ever, ever be enough. And that that right there, that self worth, because when you think you are separate from the world that that love is conditional, that you have to work hard for it, that you have to earn it. We get out of alignment. We get out of sync. Money gets hard to make. It gets hard to hang on to, right? Because it's not um, for us all the time, right? Same thing with love. We're just replacing it with money. I'm kind of going off on a tangent, but I think it's, I, I think that it's helpful. I hope that it is. Um, and what I love is that I'm watching, like after our interview, Liz was messaging me that like all of the things that she has been wanting for in her career, in her life, in her world are happening. So it's incredible because she's cleared out a lot of the gunk and now there's space and clarity that she has made some decisions with her business, with her personal life of like, what is it that I want? What is it that I want? And she's declaring it. And when you declare in it and you have self-worth, that's when ever, then the radio station gets tuned and you get a good, strong, clear signal. And she's got money flowing to her with the clients she wants to work with and the opportunities that she wants to work with. And the next step, Liz, if you're listening, this is for you. The next step is to remember that we are worth it and hang on to it. And that gets into a book called The Big Leap, which I need to do an interview. Um, I'd love to interview the author, Kay Hendricks, um, because The Big Leap is all about our upper limit, and all about how we self-sabotage. So whenever I see a client doing really, really, really well, I'm always kind of bracing myself because frequently, with, frequently what happens is we will hit a ceiling. I know myself like that's part of why I've lost my voice. We hit a ceiling that we don't know that we have and it's really important to be working with somebody who can help you to stay the course rather than crash and burn it and have like two steps forward 10 steps back right so I'm personally working on that with my coach 
Um, and I hope this is helpful. I hope you go and listen to um, Liz's podcast if you haven't yet. Enjoy. We're going to have another great interview this Thursday. I can't wait. It's an interview that I recorded um, with somebody that I really love. So stay tuned for that. And thank you. Bye. Thank you so much for being here. It is an honor and a privilege to have this conversation with you as we expand in the world. What is it that we want? Do we believe that we can have it all? I hope this episode gave you some insights and some things to think about, and most importantly, some actions to go and take in your own life. If one of those actions is reaching out to me, I'm so thrilled and honored. You can always find me on my website, annakmorris.com, and you can always send me an email, hello at annakmorris.com. DM, texting, if you have my number, any of that is great too. And I would love to be in touch with you and help you have it all. I love you and thank you so much for being here.